Similarly, we can do the same types of exercise for some other crystal planes. Now, still, FCC crystal structure. Now, let's look at the so-called 2 to 0 plane. 2 to 0 plane. Again, same assumptions. Bonding excess energy per atom when one bond is broken, and the relationship between bonding strength and uh, the sublimation energy. Where is 2 to 0 plane? I draw it something like this. 2 to 0, which means half, half, infinity. This shaded red shaded plane would be our so-called 2 to 0 plane. If somehow this plane is exposed, what will be the surface energy? Okay. Similarly, we are still going to consider if I have this shaded red plane, how many neighboring, nearest neighbor atom would uh, be lost for atom on this surface? Okay. So let's consider this one, the B atom. This one is within the shaded 2 to 0 plane. Which of the atom would be its nearest neighbor that when you break, when you cut parallel to this plane would be broken? Well, you would find for B, B1, definitely directly on top, this would be broken, right? What about the B2? Is this B2 within this shaded plane from geometry? Yes or no? No, it's outside. It's actually a little bit in the front. And uh, what about the distance from B to B1 and B to B2? They should be the same, right? So they are the same nearest neighbor. So B2 would also be lost, the bond. Similarly, I have one on the top. I would have one at the bottom, B3. Make sense? So I lost uh, B1, B2, B3. But remember, all these are a little bit towards, if you look at it, a little bit to the right. Based on the crystal symmetry, I would have, with respect to B2, I would have something on this side. With respect to B3, I also have something on this side. So totally, if you count, there will be five elements, five items that will be lost. What about the, the bonding between B and C? Does it got broken? No, because C is within, right? C is still within this 2 to 0 plane. Do you see that? Between B and C, C is actually still within this 2 to 0. The bond here is still intact. Make sense? And so, totally, we would lose so-called five atoms. Five atoms. One directly on top of B, B2, B3, and then on the other side, B4, B5, okay? Yeah, so B2, B3, this actually should be B4 and B5, thanks. This will be B4 and B5. So totally, five of its nearest neighbor would be lost for this B atom within this shaded, to do their plane. As a result, the excess energy per atom on this 002 plane would be ESV, excess energy for between solid and vacuum for 220 would be 5 times this half of bonding strength and the bonding strength we get it from here. Okay, and then similarly, the excess energy, also called surface energy per unit uh, area, always go from per atom, now go to per area. Per area would be per atom times how many atoms per area. Okay, and then we would have this shaded plane, I kind of redraw it from here. Do you see within this shaded 2 to 0 plane, only C is touching B. If this guy is my B atom, 
this guy would be C atom and they are touching each other and the atom radius would be R, right? So from here to here, one edge length would be just the 2R. And what is 2R? For FCC, it's just the square root of 2 over 2A. Make sense? And then what's the height for this rectangle? From here to here, it's just the, our lattice constant, which is A. Make sense? So within this rectangle, can we estimate the so-called n? Within this rectangle, how many atoms? Half on the left, half on the right. So totally, one goes to the numerator. What about denominator? It's just the area. It's height times base. Height is a, base is square root of two, over 2 times of A. Make sense? So when we work out the mass, we can also get a number that tell us theoretically if we expose this so-called 2 to 0, we can estimate the surface energy for this crystal surface if it is exposed for this 111, uh, sorry, for this FCC crystal structure. Okay? And fundamentally, after we do this, we would uh, come to this conclusion. We can theoretically, if we know some fundamental aspect, lattice parameter, the sublimation energy, which is bonding strength, we can estimate the energy for each of these low index plane with relative ease. And you would find the surface energy, which means excess energy per unit area with respect to the bulk, with respect to when they are within the crystal, they would change for different uh, crystal planes, different surface. They would change whether it's 111, 002, or 2220, they may change slightly, okay? And uh, that's what uh, the kind of take-home message. We can estimate, and they are going to change somewhat. Okay?